it. The accumulation of gas. Excuse me. Plain and simple, uh, flatulence is the scientific word for passing gas. It comes from the Latin latest meaning to blow. Blows and blows! Bateman, <laughs> exactly what is passing gas anyway? Yeah, and when you pass gas, do you collect $200? <laughs> no, Lester, but the way you pass gas, you should go directly to jail. <laughs> Say howdy to your colon or large intestine. When too much gas builds up in here, the pressure forces it out. And uh, since it can't get out up here, it comes out the back door down here. Uh, but how does it get in there in the first place? Two ways. First, there are lots of bacteria in your colon. These little gut critters chow down on certain sugars. And they also eat fiber, the part of food our bodies don't digest. Foods high in fiber are cabbage, radishes, broccoli, cauliflower, and, of course, beans. Ah, beans, beans, the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you... <clears throat> And like any other living thing, when those bacteria, your colonic comrades, eat, they give off waste products like the gases carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and methane. Ah, uh, wait a second. Hold the phone. You mean bacteria are passing gas inside our bodies? But a boomer! What a gas! Another way we get gas in our intestines is from swallowing air with the food we eat and the drinks we drink. Like in this bottle of soda. It's full of gas bubbles. And those tiny bubbles really add up. This gadget is an ultrasonic cleaner. We're using its sound energy to shake the gas out of the soda and put it into the balloon. Now, most of the gas in soda comes out of your body as burps. <gasps> but plenty of that gas makes its way past your stomach and into your colon. Okay, now I know how gas gets in, but why does it make a sound when it comes out? It does? Yeah. For the gas to get out of your colon, it has to pass through the... Drum roll, please. Anal sphincter! <laughs> Control yourself, Ray. The... Anal sphincter... is a ring of muscle that acts like a door to keep your butt shut. <laughs> No, when the gas comes out, it vibrates that narrow opening, making a sound like this. Oh, inspiring devil baby. Oh, Laku Demo! Most of the gases we pass, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and methane, have no odor at all. But we also pass tiny, tiny amounts of smelly gases, like indole. Yeah. Scatol. Ooh. And the ever-stinky, rotten, egg-scented, eye-tearing, hydrogen sulfide. Thank you. Bro, when you sneak out even a few molecules of these puppies, it's every man for himself. While it's not really polite to pass gas around other people, Lester, <clears throat> it's an important and normal function of your body. And if you try to hold the gas in, you can make yourself sick. Which is why I am the picture of health. Ugh. So pass gas proudly because you are not alone. Why, everybody does it. Even guys with fleas do it. In fact, I feel one coming right now. No! 